Hi, welcome to Clean Beauty with Ally Marie. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this look using Beauty Counter's newest all-in-one golden hour palette with these gorgeous shades. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Allie. I love talking all things clean beauty. I do product reviews, tutorials. I even talk about my home business on this channel. So I would love it if you could subscribe before you go. Thank you. Okay, let's get started. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the blush first. It is called Horizon right here. I'm gonna take my angled blush brush here and I'm just going to lightly tap Give it a little blow and then I'm gonna smile and pull it back on my cheeks like this. I love this color, it's so beautiful. Okay. And these colors, you guys, are so pigmented. As you can see, I just barely tapped and look at all that color. You can smile, pull back, and I kinda I kind of work it while I twist here, kind of circle and pull with a little smile. Okay. There we go. A nice golden look on the cheeks, but we're not done with our cheeks just yet. Maybe a little bit more blending here. I'm also going to use my finger and blend it in. There we go. Perfect. Okay, next I'm gonna be using the highlighter to really get that golden look. It is called Beam. I'm gonna take my large fan brush and I'm gonna get some right on this side. Okay, just a little, tap it off, and then I'm just gonna pull it right above where my blush is. And you guys can see that immediate sheen that hits my cheekbone. So right where that sun would hit gives me that golden I love this highlighter. Golden look, okay, so we gotta do the other side. And we got some sheen. Okay, looking good. All right, let's go to the eyes. So I'm gonna start with a daytime eye look. I'm gonna start with my all over um, brush right here. I'm gonna start with this pretty Ray color right here. It is kind of a golden shimmer color and I'm just gonna put it right on my eyelid. Now, I do already have on my Skin Twin Featherweight Foundation on my face, a whole bunch of concealer <laughs> underneath my eyes. The uh, one week postpartum is catching up with me here. And I also do have on mascara and a little bit of eyeliner on my water um, line. But of course you can do that afterwards. So. I'm not sure if you guys can see it just yet or not, but it is this nice golden, really pretty color. Again, I'm only having to get just a little bit at a time and I'm sweeping it right on the lid here. And it's got this really pretty reflective quality to it. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love that it has everything you need all in one palette. It's just super handy, easy to travel with. Um, my next step for my daytime look is I'm going to add um, this um, white aura right here. And I'm gonna put it next to my brow line right up here to give that a little bit of a pop. I'm sure you can see that little sheen that's getting up there. Okay, loving it. Here we go, other side. Same thing, right underneath your brow. All right, so my daytime look is just about complete. I've got some sheen and some sparkle going on. I'm going to go ahead and add in a fun lip gloss. I'm gonna be using the Jelly Shimmer. I'm gonna pick one. And um, let's try, ooh, I like this one. Let's see which one this one is. This one is caramel. Let's see what it smells like. 
Oh, it smells, so, it smells like caramel, it smells amazing. Okay, let's see what it looks like. I love how these feel, it gives me just a little sheen. So I am ready for the day. Um, and now let's switch it up and add a little bit more for a nighttime look. Okay, to get us from day to night, I'm going to add in some of this shadow. It's a little bit darker. I'm gonna be using the crease brush and I'm just gonna be putting shadow right into the crease. So again, it's not gonna take a lot of product. These are super pig pigmented and I'm just gonna start sweeping it in to the crease and I'm kinda, kinda do like a little windshield wiper to smooth it in there. Get a little bit more. These colors are buildable and blendable. They go on super smooth. Oh yeah, this is looking a little bit more dramatic now. Okay. I like how it just adds just enough color without being over the top. Same thing over here. Okay, I think I've got it. Next, I'm going to take um, my blender brush. It's a little bit thicker. I'm just gonna blend it in, make sure it blends with that aura and that ray that I already have there from the daytime look. Okay. All right, next I'm going to add just a little touch of Aura right on the inside of my tear duct here to give that a little pop. Again, the Aura is this white right here, a little pop. Next, a few more things to get it from daytime to nighttime. I'm gonna be using our highlighter and I'm actually going to be, remember our beam highlighter, I'm gonna add just a little bit on the bridge of my nose to get that golden sheen, just a little bit there, right where that sunlight would hit. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of that beam right here on my Cupid's bow, just to have one more little sheen there. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do to make it a little bit more dramatic is I'm gonna darken my lip color and I think I'm gonna use something a little bit fun from our other gift set. It's called the Beyond Gloss Trio. I think I'm gonna use this super fun, I think it's Wild Berry, let me check. Um, yes, Wild Berry in this nice pink. So let me get this on my lips. I'm gonna take off the jellies. All right, let's try out Wild Berry. Now this is in a new limited edition scent and shade for holiday. The scent is Mandarin Violet. Now this is super fun for holiday. One more little swipe right here. Make sure I got it even. And now I am ready for date night. I've got some fun color, not too overdone. Um, if you wanted to, you could go back and add in another coat of mascara to make it a little bit more dramatic. But I hope that this tutorial was helpful and that you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.